Cupcakes. You might recognise the kitchen that I'm in today. It's a very special episode of My Cupcake Addiction. I'm with the lovely Jamie from Sorted Food. Hey, hello, Jamie. Hello, hello, hello. Nice to be here in very sunny London. Is it sunny? It's not so sunny. It's not so sunny. <laughs> no, it's not so <laughs> Sorry sunny. Sorry about that. These guys are super close to their million subscribers, so let's help them get there. Head on over. They're hilarious. They make amazing things. They will teach you how to cook and you will have fun doing it. Jamie's letting us use his amazing kitchen today and he's going to help me make a Halloween treat. So we're going to be making some blood and bone cheesecake cups. I'm really looking forward to this. I've not seen some blood and bone cheesecake cupcakes before. Cups. 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 The cakes. The cupcakes. cheesecakes. The it's cupcakes. Fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Food. Awesome. <laughs> Let's get into it. So we've got a bunch of ingredients. I'm going to link to them all down below. So you'll have all of the recipes, quantities and everything that you need. Jamie, how do you fancy semi-whipping some cream? I can semi-whip some cream like the pros. Not too whipped? Not too whipped, just semi. All right, perfect. Yep. So Jamie's going to semi-whip some cream and then he's going to add some icing sugar and some vanilla into our cream cheese and he's going to whip that really, really well. While he's doing that, I'm going to take a little bit of melted butter and some Oreo cookies and I'm going to make a bit of a crunchy biscuit base. It's really just making a very, very easy no-bake cheesecake base. And I went with Oreo cookies for this because I want it to be black because it's a bit more Halloween-y. But if you don't like Oreos, use any kind of graham cracker or just a vanilla cookie. Perfect. All right, so while all of that's going on, I'm going to turn on the heat and we're going to heat up the raspberries with a bit of sugar for about five to seven minutes. While that one's cooking, Jamie, I'm going to eat you to yes. mix up our cheesecake batter. Awesome. So you've got your semi-whipped cream, there's your cream cheese and some yep. icing sugar. And then just, it's a teaspoon of vanilla essence. Okay, so just use your eye there and mix all of those together. You can't overbeat that, so beat it as much as you like. Perfect. Now, while Jamie's working on the cheesecake batter, I'm going to start getting some of our little cups or mugs or whatever it is that you want to serve this in. We're just going to put a bit of our biscuit base in the bottom of each one. So place it in and then just kind of push it down a little bit. So how big a deal is Halloween in Australia? Do you know what? It's not that big a deal. Like, last year I had maybe 10 or 20 trick-or-treaters and for right. us that was massive. Really? That was massive. So I love it and I like to dress up and I like to get organised for it but the rest of the country not so much. Yeah, so I think the UK is about the same. So like, you get a few people trick-or-treating and then you get loads of teenagers trick-or-treating like trick-or-treating. Like, you haven't even dressed up. <laughs> you just want like sweets. You just want my candy. Yeah. How's Perfect. That, look? that looks pretty good. Now for yes. the cheesecake mix we're going to make it the colour of flesh because it's disgusting and it's Halloween and it's going to add to the blood and bone effect. Nice. So, what colour are you? Uh, I'm, well, slightly pale. All right, perfect. We'll I'll get some right. sort of a combination yeah. skin going on. <laughs> I got a little bit of orange and I got a little bit of pink and then a little bit of cocoa. So we're really just going to do this. Okay. Now, Jamie tells me he's colour blind. I am a bit colour So he's going to be useless at colouring this. So I'm going to take over the colouring. You can actually get flesh tone food colour pastes, but if you don't have that, pinks, oranges, browns, anything that kind of looks a bit gross and fleshy, because none of us are the same colour. So you can really go with... I was going to say, do they do just one flesh tone? They do, they do. It's a very Caucasian kind of a flesh tone. <laughs> right. So with your flesh tone, it's kind of touch and go. You just want to add in a little bit of colour at a time until you get that nice fleshy colour that we're looking for. A bit more orange? Why not? Be Jamie with a spray tan colour <laughs> if we keep going. <laughs> All right, so you've got your semi-whipped cream and we've got our kind of flesh-toned cheese mix. Now you want yep. that a little bit darker than what you think you're going to go because we're going to add the cream into the flesh tone and it's going to pale things up a little bit. That is sensible. That is sensible. <laughs> I wouldn't have thought of doing that. Now you know. That's why I'm not a cook. Right, next time you make your skin coloured <laughs> cheesecake, you will know exactly how to go about doing it. Oh, that'll be next Halloween. Next Halloween. So some of you guys might follow me on the Sorted app. These guys have an awesome app. It's kind of like, what, Instagram for food, I guess? Yeah, I heard somebody describe it as Instagram for food the other day, and all the comments uh, on YouTube went, but isn't Instagram the Instagram for food? <laughs> uh, this is Foodstagram. Exactly, yeah. And basically, you can actually have full, proper written recipes on there with step-by-step -step guides. You can follow other foodies on there. and. It's just a cool place to be if you like food. It is. I'm on there, so if you want to go and download the Sorted app, you can follow me. You can follow these guys as well, but you can follow me. So. <laughs> At least it's the reason that it is a cool place to be if you like food. Pretty much. Mm. Pretty much. Now, while you're doing that, Jamie, make sure here that you don't over whip that cream. So you're doing an awesome job, but once that colour's folded through, leave it at that. Because if you over whip the cream, it's going to separate and it's going to make your cheesecake kind of grainy and gross. You're good. You're good. Okay, good. Yep. I'm keeping my eye on you. <laughs> All right. So with your raspberries and your red berry fruit, you just want to cook them until kind of the berries have dissolved and you're left with the seeds. No licking, Jamie. Wow, that's the best bit about <laughs> it. Jamie's going to be a taste tester along the way. And so once you've got it all sort of looking like this, it's just a bit of a red berry mess with lots of seeds. We're going to strain that out. So all we're left with is that nice blood looking berry puree that looks revolting, tastes delicious. So now that your mix is all done, Jamie, you want to bring it over and we're going to fill some mm. of our cups. 
How's it taste? They taste really good. Really good. Really awesome. Good. So now you just want to take a spoon and we're just going to spoon some little amounts into our cups. Okay. And you want to leave it about a centimetre, about this much from the top so we've got enough room to put in our gruesome blood. Perfect. So when you're putting this in, you want to give your cups like a couple of bangs down on the bench just to get them nice and level and get that cheesecake mixture as far down as you can. You want to give that a couple of taps? Yeah. So we've got all of our cheesecakes nice and full and we're going to give the rest of the mix to Jamie. We're going to pop those off into the fridge. Give them an hour or two in the fridge to really set before we go and pour our raspberry coolie over the top. Mmm. All right, Jamie, while those ones are off in the fridge, we're going to do some piping. How's your piping? Piping is average. Let's see how we go. Okay. We're going to make some bones. So I'm just going to take some melted white chocolate into a Ziploc bag, or you can use a piping bag. Do you want to spoon some of that in yeah. for me? A very, very small tip off the corner of our bag creates a little piping tip and we're going to make just some bone shapes here. Now you can go as big or as small as you like for your bones. Try to make sure that they at least resemble bones for okay, me, Jamie, fine. all right? I will try. This is going to look a little bit interesting, but basically you want the top two thirds of the bone, but without the two little circles on the bottom so we can drive it straight down into our cheesecake cups. All right, Jamie, your turn. See so how you go. Well, yes. Okay. Going for a circle. Mine looks less bone shaped than yours. Mine, yeah. mine probably looks slightly different. So if any of your bones have got little ridges or any little raised areas on them, you just want to give them a nice tap down on the bench to level them out. Is that going to help my one? Nothing's going to help <laughs> your one, Jamie. <laughs> Pop those ones off into the fridge and let them completely set and there are final touches. Jamie's going to grab the cheesecakes. Now the coolie that we made, or the raspberry sauce, is completely cooled and the cheesecakes have been in there for about an hour or so, so they're nice and set and they're nice and firm. You don't want to try and put the hot raspberry sauce on this or it'll melt your cheesecake mixture. It's because it's a coolie. It's a coolie. Oh, ba All right, so the tools that we've got, I'm using the end of a paintbrush. I'm using a chopstick. Have you made a poke cake before, Jamie? No. Ah, neither have I. <laughs> These are effectively a poke cheesecake. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to poke some holes randomly in the middle, but particularly around the outside edges. So the idea is you want these to look like the gruesome blood or our coolie is actually drizzling down the sides. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So you need to make sure that those little holes are as close to the edges as they can possibly be. And you might want to wipe off your little chopstick in between just to make sure that you're not spreading some of that cheese around. All right, so Jamie and I discovered that these glasses here with the nice high straight sides actually gave us the poke effect a lot better than these ones here with the rounded edges. So if you're looking for the perfect containers to make these cheesecakes, we're going to recommend something with a nice straight edge. Aren't we, Jamie? You took the words right out of my mouth. I know what he's thinking. We're one in the kitchen. So let's finish them off. Let's finish them off. All right, so a teaspoon or so of our raspberry coolie, and we're going to stick it on the top and then give it a good bang down so that it spreads our raspberry coolie all down those little poke holes. Okay. I'm going to follow your lead on You're going to follow my lead? Yeah. Now the best thing about these is the raspberry coolie actually travels down over the course of hours. So you could make these way ahead of time and you get that kind of creepy crawly effect. Yeah, it's good. All right, so Jamie, finishing touches. Yes. What are we going to do with our blood and bone cheesecake? Bones. Bones. Grab one of your bones and you want to drive it straight down into the centre of your cheesecake. On a bit of an angle, looks a bit cute. Okay. Oh. 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 I like it. Oh, I, really I like, like what it. you've done with it. Yeah. Very like nice. That. Very nice. Do you want to use my bone? Or no, <laughs> your bone was a bit dodgy. So we'll uh, we'll grab one of the other okay. ones. Any one of the other ones, just not your one. Just eat this one. So there's our gruesome Halloween blood and bone cheesecakes. I'm really proud of them. I think you should be. Yeah. You, you say you're not a decorator. Wow. Look at that. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Shall I do the laugh? Do the laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Halloween, everybody. Make sure that you guys check out Sorted Food. Check out the Sorted Food app. I will link to it down below. Subscribe to Sorted Food. And thanks very much for helping me and for learning me your kitchen. No, no problem at all. Thank you for coming in. Much appreciated. See you guys. See you next Bye. time.